Valerie Apperson. Valerie. Okay. It's actually, it is Valari, but my parents, they named me Valari and then they called me Valerie my whole life. And, like, they're like, we named you Valari. Hey, Valerie, can you get the scissors? <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm, uh, I tried to go by Valari in high school and then my friends uh, came to the door and they were like, hey, is Valari at home? And then my brother slammed the door in their face and he was like, no, there's no Valari lives here. It's only Valerie. Bye. Uh, hold up. I have an impression I want to show you guys. Woo! I got to do it this way, though. That's also relevant to the impression. Okay. So this is my, this is my impression of a gay male gynecologist who hates his job. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is for you, Mom. <laughs> this is my impression of a gay female proctologist who hates her job. You're good. <laughs> I have a, I have a pretty toxic work environment. Yeah, no, there's like always someone second guessing me, always someone judging me, just saying terrible things to me. I work alone. <laughs> But on top of that, I also have a really, which is kind of embarrassing, but I have kind of an unstable home life, too. There's always someone yelling, there's beer bottles everywhere, there's cursing. It's just it's hard living alone, you know? <laughs> Did you guys see that one coming? <laughs> I want to know, hey, Mr. Eagle guy, he knew it because it's on his shirt. <laughs> Do people automatically know who you're going to vote for? Because of the yeah. eagle? <laughs> oh, shit. It's Bernie Sanders, isn't it? This, uh, this, this eagle is ironic, for, for what it's worth. You don't believe in the <laughs> majesty of eagles? I love fucking eagles, but I'm not, I'm not Mr. Magda. Yeah. Hotel uh, California. Uh, we should take uh, back... I like uh, birds. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I would love... Yeah, take back the eagle, by all means. Take yes, back the eagle. We love so birds. Well, uh, Go. They don't like the EPA. Why do they get the eagle? Yeah. Um, I uh, recently had sex in a sand dune. I know Do you? Because apparently he's on dating apps. Oh! Shots fired. Hey, type of stuff. Um, so I did. I had uh, sex in a sand dune in New Mexico, and uh, one thing I can tell you is that that sound is a lot like the Israeli Gaza conversation because it just gets into everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, so, uh, like I have like roots. In, I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness, so I've got like these roots in fundamentalist, high control Christianity, and it just gets into, you know, it gets into, it seeps into everything. You know, it's like, oh, I shouldn't wear that, I shouldn't say that, I shouldn't drink that. That's not gonna get me drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take away the thing. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so. Uh, we were almost about to go back to, what was it, 1864 laws Arizona. in Arizona. Arizona? Do you remember that? <clears throat> That's pretty fucking crazy. Like, you're already going back, <clears throat> like, 160 years. I don't see, like, at, to what end, you know? Because we could just go back to 16 years ago, 1848, 
back when Mexico owned it. And go by those laws, <laughs> which are no laws, by the way. There's no laws in Mexico. <laughs> no, there are. Uh, I used to go there and like get liquor and pills as a, a teenager. And uh, everybody was fine with it. They were, they were good with it. They were like, high school's hard. Here you go. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I uh, used to cross the Mexican border with my mother, um, who looks a lot different than me. She's uh, brown-skinned, and I'm not, which uh, rose a few red flags at the border. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, consistently <laughs> and uh, eventually learned that this put me in an interesting position of power yeah. because whenever the border patrol would stop us and ask us who my mother was <laughs> I was like I don't know <laughs> that depends are we going to the piñata shop or <laughs> do we get to go to the ice rink in the desert. <laughs> the ice rink's closed now. Um, there's one thing that's objectively funny that I don't know quite how to put into a joke yet, but when we were in El Paso, Texas, me and my boyfriend, um, we were staying at the house of my best friend, and we come home from the bar, and she had, she was having sex in her room, and we were having sex in our room, and we have sort of a psychic connection, so I knew this was going on. <laughs> it was interesting. And then uh, her dude, like, wigged out, and he, like, stormed into our room, butt-ass naked, got into our bed. We had to leave the bed, and then now it's four butt-ass naked people in the hallway trying to figure out what the fuck is happening. And then uh, we had we had to get a hotel, and w the worst part is I didn't get a glimpse of I didn't get a good view of any genitals, and that was probably the, I mean that was the most genitals I was ever going to be exposed to in one room at the same time, and I didn't have the presence of mind to just take a little peek. <laughs> All right, um, this is my impression of Gabriel Cox. <laughs> down a couple topics so maybe I'll pick one and Let's do like go. 20 seconds. Let's go. Uh, what do you think? Ugly cars, summer holidays, allergies, or long distance friendship? Pick allergies. 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 Damn, allergies is triggering for people. Um, <laughs> going to the emergency room, it's the worst. It is the worst going to the emergency room. Girl, don't room. let me start because I'm the allergy queen. Do you want to sign up? Sign up. Sign I'm sign up. Sign Miss minutes. Allergy Queen, I'm I'll give it to you allergy. one more. I'm, I'm the allergy queen. empress, bitch. Ah! Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Um, allergies suck, and uh, they cost a lot of money to treat. Fucking do. Yeah. And um, they do, and I that's also, not. You're in trouble. That's really not what. You know when you're really in trouble is when you go to the emergency room and they give you uh, steroids for allergies. Cause uh, oh, I become a beast. <laughs> like I was in the Diamond District one time with this guy, and I had like an emergency uh, allergic reaction, and I got like an emergency dose of uh, steroids and. Oh my God, I was going off on the Diamond District and they definitely cared and they made changes, I swear. <laughs> All right, that's it. Give it up for your host, Heidi. Thanks, Bilari Esquire. Bilari Apperson Esquire. Did your 